Hello guys and welcome back. As you remember, I posted in the past a video about uh, the SR305, the one that had um, a bent uh, slot here at the bottom for the string, for the D string. At the time, I was uh, I was uh, looking um, uh, for a replacement, not original one but that was proven uh, that was uh, it was impossible there was a go top bridge that i spoke at the time that was quite similar and the same color but uh, the string spacing was quite different and uh, the bridges didn't fit the the hole in the body for just a few uh, millimeters here you go a better look You can see that um, the is quite bent, and um, it needs to. It doesn't hold the string in tension, so uh, it needs to be replaced. For you guys that are looking for a replacement, I found the original one in um, in the store, and I have to say that it was quite cheap. Um, Contrarily, what I found on the um, on the internet uh, speaking about this bridge, so I found it for only thirty eight euros and um, a few cents. You can see the difference; uh, it's quite bent um, against. Uh, with the original one, with the new one. Um, this is uh, this is an easy um, replacement, and it's quite easy to replace the bridge. But um, I'm going to do just one mod, um, which is not quite a mod, but uh, it will improve the um, the contact between the the ground wire and the bridge which is to put just a bit of um, aluminium tape here which will touch all the base of the bridge and it just will be a more perfect contact i am using a generical aluminium tape is nothing special you can find it in most hardware stores for um for a couple of uh, euros dollars As you can see, I pulled just a wire. It breaks quite easily this tape. And instead of uh, being just a wire touching the bridge, it will be all this uh, piece of tape, which is all metal, which will be touching the, the bridge, the new bridge. So the new bridge is in place, as you can see, is the original color, which, which makes it a lot easier and the base looks a lot better. Um, I'm going to put the old strings, and uh, after putting the old strings, what, what just you guys need to do is uh, intonate it and set the string action uh, again. So guys, um, quite straightforward, I'm going to turn the base and um, 
after tuning the bass we just check the string height again and intonate it and because the bass was with a few days without the um, the strings i am going to leave it overnight to see how the the neck relief behaves i think it shouldn't be a problem but uh, i'm never sure so So guys, to intonate the bass, it's quite easy. The thing you do is that uh, on the 12th fret, you fret the note here, and it should, it should be the same as the open string. So um, we'll do that. And after intonated, we'll check the string height to see if there's, they are at the same height. As um, um, my reference for the string height in, in the bass is um, more or less uh, two millimeters, maximum four millimeters, depending on the bass, and the four millimeters normally apply to um, to a six string bass. But um, this one should be around starting on the on the B string two and a half, and then two maybe a little bit less on the on the last uh, string so guys to adjust the string uh, action you just need the allen wrench that came with it you just go up and down as you wish uh, until you have the desired action as i told you you can find this sheet on the revive guitars um, um, revive guitars facebook page um, as for the bridge, for anybody searching for a bridge to replace, just go for the original one, find a local store and uh, that deals Ibanez and um, you shouldn't have to pay more than 38 euros. That in dollars I think should be around 50. I don't know the current conversion rate. Is an easy install, and if you just want to put the tape, like I did, um, just to increase the contact between the bridge and the ground wire, just go ahead. It doesn't make any harm to the base, and uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed. Um, if you have any questions, um, suggestions, please leave them on the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe, and uh, I'll see you next time.